This episode is brought to you by Huel. Between hitting work deadlines and exercising, eating healthy food feels difficult. Thankfully, Huel Black Edition has your back. Each 400 calorie meal contains a scientifically calibrated mix of 40 grams of premium plant protein, carbs, fats, fiber, and 27 essential vitamins and minerals. It comes in nine flavors and costs $2.50 per meal. All you have to do is shake. To get a free t shirt and shaker and free delivery, go to Huel.com slash US. When we all come together, we can make a big difference. Use your MasterCard to tap or order online from qualifying restaurants and grocery stores. And MasterCard will donate one cent up to $5 million to stand up to cancer. Together, our impact has the power to help change lives. The strength of us. Priceless. Promotion ends on July 15th or when total $5 million donation is reached, whichever comes first. U.S. issued cards only. Debit PIN, international, and any transactions processed on a non-MasterCard network are ineligible. See full terms at priceless.com slash SU2C. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2175, Three Utterly Obvious Ways to Build Wealth, by Jeff Rose of goodfinancialsense.com, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hello, and welcome to another bonus Sunday episode, where I share an article from one of the other podcasts in our network that I think will add some value for you here. Today's post comes from Optimal Finance Daily, where articles covering all types of information on personal finance are read to you every day. You can follow or subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily wherever you're hearing this. And with that, here's Diana with the post and commentary as we optimize your life. Three Utterly Obvious Ways to Build Wealth by Jeff Rose of GoodFinancialSense.com You don't have to be a rocket scientist to build wealth. In case you didn't let that first sentence soak in, listen to it again. The wealthy understand that while being smart can certainly help you earn money, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll build wealth with your earnings. Likewise, being famous doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to build wealth. Sure, it can help, but there are countless stories of those who earn a ton of money only to watch it disappear seemingly overnight. So what are the secrets to building wealth? And once you build wealth, how do you keep it? The truth is that the secrets to building wealth really aren't secrets at all. They are simply common sense behaviors that when practiced with purpose and over a long period of time are likely to result in a pool full of cash if that's how you like to stockpile your money. Let's take a look at some of these behaviors. Number one, say no to debt. Joseph Carborn Jr., a certified financial planner, wealth advisor, and founder of wealthmanagementfortherealworld.com reveals, quote, The most successful clients that I've worked with over my 18-year career are those that have no debt and positive cash flow, end quote. Saying no to debt is truly a behavior at the heart of so many wealthy individuals. Why? It has something to do with interest rates. Student loans, credit cards, personal loans, car loans, and many other types of debt all have interest rates. Some of these rates are higher than others, but one thing is guaranteed you will pay a lot more money than necessary if you make minimum payments on a loan, and the interest rates will slowly drain any wealth you do have. Unfortunately, that's where many people get stuck. They're so used to debt, they think it's normal and shrug it off as a way of life. Sure, it might be a way of life for some people, but it doesn't have to be a way of life for you. The way to get out of debt is to focus your energy on saying no to more debt. Take a moment and put yourself in a mode where your focus is to make money fast. You might choose to attack your debt even faster than you might initially think possible. So whether you decide to do the debt snowball, consolidate those student loans without a cosigner, or just buckle down and pay the debt off, get on it and you will be wealthier. Two, practice discipline and invest for the long term. It can be all too easy to get caught up in the hype of this stock or that stock, The media continually reports this or that new hot stock. Don't fall for that trap. We all know it's better to diversify your investments and not get carried away by the allure of quick wealth. Scott Wellens, certified financial planner, financial advisor, and founder of bestinwealth.com, explains, quote, the number one behavior that inevitably leads to more wealth is staying disciplined. Emotions are very real and very dangerous, and it's hard to be objective about your money, especially when people around us are talking about doom and gloom as it relates to the economy. Most of your money is invested for the long term. Do not make short-term decisions about your long-term money. 
The best way to get market-like returns is not to fool with your investment mix. If you do, the probability of achieving your financial goals will most likely go down. Predicting where the stock market is headed and making decisions off of the prediction is a fool's game. It requires a crystal ball and no one has a crystal ball. Stay disciplined, end quote. The stock market, for example, can be extremely volatile from year to year. Newbie investors might find themselves panicking when the stock market takes a steep dive and decide they can pick the winning stocks. This is a mistake. The best advice is to buy and hold. And when you do so, hold for a long, long time. The discipline to stick to the buy and hold strategy isn't easily found. But if you can find it, you're much more likely to find yourself financially stable in retirement. If you are particularly subject to panicking, then use our Betterment Investing Review to see how you can set and forget by having them do the investing for you. Number three, stay frugal, friends. You just got a new job. Now you're bringing in the big bucks. Time to relax and buy that boat you've always wanted and that recreational vehicle and that gold-infused and bejeweled smartphone case to protect your less expensive smartphone, of course, right? You guessed it wrong. It's a much better idea to stay frugal. Remember, you can only build wealth by saving money, not spending it. Sure, you're going to have to spend some money, but you don't have to inflate your lifestyle to match your new income. Far from it. Benjamin Brandt, certified financial planner at retirementstartstodayradio.com, talks about the lifestyle creep phenomenon. Quote, It's human nature for any increase in income to be immediately swallowed by lifestyle improvements, a phenomenon known as lifestyle creep. Avoid lifestyle creep and build guaranteed increases into your savings plan by changing the way you think about annual raises. The next time you're presented with a raise, challenge yourself to save half of the increase and creep with the other half. This strategy will allow you to pay yourself first, enjoy the fruits of your labor, and build wealth over time. End quote. It's better to stay frugal, build wealth, and have a firm financial position rather than squander your money on things that you don't really need, especially over the long term. There are plenty of ways to save money. Learn them, dream them, and act. Act frugal. Your wallet will thank you. Well, maybe not right away, but over time it will. Final thoughts. There is a common thread that ties all of these tips together. Earn more, save more, and spend less. That's an equation that will get you on the moderately fast track to building wealth. Sure, it's not an overnight fix, but it's worth the journey. To motivate yourself, envision what you could do with your wealth. Perhaps you could quit your day job and go on that mission trip that would be much more fulfilling. Maybe you could give more than you ever thought possible. Leave an inheritance to your children and grandchildren. The sky's the limit. You just listened to the post titled, Three Utterly Obvious Ways to Build Wealth by Jeff Rose of GoodFinancialSense.com. This episode is brought to you by Huel. Between hitting work deadlines and exercising, eating healthy food feels difficult. Thankfully, Huel Black Edition has your back. Each 400-calorie meal contains a scientifically calibrated mix of 40 grams of premium plant protein, carbs, fats, fiber, and 27 essential vitamins and minerals. It comes in nine flavors and costs $2.50 per meal. All you have to do is shake. To get a free t-shirt and shaker and free delivery, go to Huel.com US. For more than a decade, Comcast has been committed to bridging the digital divide and connecting millions of Americans to affordable high-speed internet. But the barriers to get connected go well beyond affordability. That's why Comcast has expanded its efforts through Project Up. Backed by a $1 billion commitment, Comcast is partnering with local community experts to build a network of digital navigators, individuals who help build awareness around initiatives like the government's Affordable Connectivity Program and teach digital skills to get more people online. Learn more at Comcast.com slash Project Up. Some great common sense advice here from Jeff. I have to admit that I was definitely one of those people that thought debt was just a fact of life. In my 20s, when I was building my career, I had this naive belief that I would easily take care of it once I was making more money at some undetermined time in the future. It didn't seem like a big deal to me at the time, especially because I wasn't paying attention to how much debt I actually had. As my 20s were coming to a close, I finally took a hard look and saw that I was 30 grand in debt and estimated that it would take me about two to three years to dig out of it. 
But once I was able to change my mindset about what was possible with my money, I was motivated to get super aggressive and I ended up paying it off in 11 months. So I have to agree with Jeff here. It is possible to pay off your debt faster than you may think. And that will do it for today. Have a great day and start to your weekend. Thank you for listening and I'll be back here reading to you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.